Good morning. We just did our live. We talked about chapter 17 of the pursuit and we talked about persistency. So make sure to check out the live below. Otherwise, reach out with any questions that you have. I'm here to help. I'll be doing a live, kind of more of like a keto 101 live later. I've got a lot of questions that have come in. If you have any low carb or keto questions, you can ask here and I'll answer them in the next live. Steve has told me I had to come outside and do yard work. Does anybody know how I feel about yard work? This is how I feel about it. You want me to do what? Move those bricks over here. All of these bricks? You, I have to move all of these bricks? No, you get to. Oh, I get to. You think I can move one of these bricks? Ugh. Okay. All right, Julie, what did we do? Grandma Julie, we moved all the rocks. What are they called? Bricks? What are they, babe? And now he's building the. That is called uh, house building, rock wall building 101. Nope, that's called Functional Life CrossFit. Functional Fitness. Functional fitness. Okay. All right, we've got a, die, a guy dropping off some dirt at our house, and he wants to know about ketones. So I am going to rip one open real quick, show him, and I'm gonna bring it like right out to him because he's like, listen, I've tried everything. I've heard that every all the time. He's like, I've tried everything. I need something to help me lose some fat. So I said, here's the deal. And I gave him some ideas for food. We're keeping it simple. He's always on the road. He drives truck. So I said, I'll give you a packet of ketones. I want you to drink it. I want you to try it. And we're gonna focus on his food and see what he thinks. So let's go deliver his little treat for the day. Look, he's just chatting with my husband. All right, so we're done with the wall for the moment. I gotta go to cross, I get to go to CrossFit soon. And while I was building the wall, my kids were giving themselves some tattoos. tattoos. Turn around. We've got some tattoos going on. Let's see yours, Lovey. Yeah. Lovey. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> look at her neck. Look at what they were doing. Hey, what? Look, I'm ready. She's not ready? mad. She's ready? happy. At I'm not mad. I think it's funny. I don't care. All the stuff. Look at my All right, I did my functional CrossFit. Now I'm off to CrossFit CrossFit. It's going to be a wonderful afternoon. Then we're going to, actually I've got to do Zooms all alive with my customers and promoters. Today's a great day. It's softball day. It's hot out. The nieces are coming over. It, ugh, so thankful. I am. All right, Amelia, how was the workout? It was hard. It was so hard. It was so great. And we did it. All right, just got home from CrossFit, and yeah, Annie has a friend. It's called a niche. It's called a inch. Inch worm, and we called it Sticky. So his pet things are Sticky. So his name is Sticky. No, I don't know what it's called. Harlow named it. Oh, it's cute. But it is very nice out, and the kids are having a blast with their cousins. Uh. 
All right, I just did a live. I just did a live about a couple Q&A questions that I've been asked, some keto Q&A, some random Q&A. If you want to watch the live, we talked about can dairy, can you eat too much dairy? You talked about what ketones actually are like in your body or why to be in ketosis. And then we talked about, oh, moving your body. Like, do you ha what happens if you physically can't work out? Um, and the power of food, right here. You guys, first of all, this little hamster wheel keeps flying away. Second of all, I did not know where my husband was and I found him. What are you doing? What are you doing? Our, our, um, what are those called? Gutters? They're the full. Cotton balls that destroyed the, gutters. the cotton balls are in the gutters. <laughs> Oh, Steve. Go.